thought that today I would do a video about kind of my family's vacation habits. Um, more specifically, why we don't do Universal. So, as you may or may not know, my sister Alex is in a wheelchair. She has cerebral palsy, so she requires full-time help. She can't, like, she needs to be fed. Um, she can't lift her head up. She can't hold on to things for a very long period of time. Like, she can't really control where she holds on. Um, and you might think that might not be something that you'd need to know, but it's something that we didn't know would be an issue when we went to Universal Studios. So, um, I don't, I don't want this video to seem like I'm bashing Universal. I'm kind of just doing it because I wish that when we were planning our trip that somebody had made this video. Um, just to kind of raise awareness of what to expect if you're traveling with someone with a disability. So, one of the reasons we like Disney so much is because they are so accommodating for my sister and I know that we can go there and we don't have to worry that she's not going to be able to do anything. Um, as of the last trip that we went with her, so this was our 2012 trip, um, the only thing that she couldn't do is Space Mountain because it's single seats, but in Disneyland she would be able to do it. Um, so when we went in 2012, we rented a house for a week and we did Kennedy Space Center, we went to SeaWorld, and we went to Universal Orlando. And then we went back to the airport, got the Disney's Magical Express, back to Disney, went to Disney for like three days, and then went home. So when we went to Universal Studios, we are like, everyone's a pretty big Harry Potter fan. This was when only Universe, or no, only Islands of Adventure had Harry Potter, so there was only Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey and like the Dueling Dragons on the Hippogriff ride. Uh, there wasn't the train and the escape Gringotts thing there yet. So I'm kind of just going to walk you through our day. Um, so we got there, we were really, really excited. We went straight back to, we went the one way because if you don't know, I'm scared of dinosaurs and so we, the Jurassic Park's here and Harry Potter's here. So like we went back that way and then back that way and then over there. So we went that one way. We went straight there. We went on Dueling Dragons first. Um, Alex, I don't think, I think that was the first ride that we went like, can she go on this? And they said, can she hold her own head up? No. Can she hold on to the handrail? No. No, she can't ride. So I think it was just Ethan and I rode and Ethan hadn't been on a roller coaster for a while so his stomach wasn't feeling great after that. Then we went to go on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey which is in Hogwarts. Uh, went up. Can she hold her head up? Nope. Can she hold on to the handrail? Nope. Okay, so we went in um, a different entrance. Like we didn't wait in the line that everybody waited in. And so we still got to see inside, but we didn't get to walk through every room that the line was in. And we did kind of like a rider swap. So Ethan and I rode, my parents stayed with Alex, and then when we came back, my parents rode and we stayed with Alex. So she got to see the inside, but she didn't get to go on the ride. Um, and then we left. I think we did the same rider swap for the Hippogriff ride. And like the, it was really, really busy. This was in May. Um, but like the storefronts were really small that she couldn't really get in and like she wouldn't be able to turn around. She is in like a custom wheelchair so it's not a wheelchair that just folds up. You'd have to take the seating system out to be able to fold it up. So maybe that gives you a bit of a better picture of what her chair looks like. Um, so then we started, this continued throughout the day. Um, we went like to the Cat in the Hat area, or like the Dr. Zeus area, there was a Cat in the Hat ride that you're supposed to be able to stay in your wheelchair for, but only like the wheelchairs that fold up, so she wouldn't have, she couldn't stay in her chair. Um, so being someone who likes to be able to 
wants her sister to be able to do all the things that she's doing, I started to get upset, which I think is perfectly, like, expected. Um, I remember we were over in, like, the superhero area, and we went on Spider-Man, and again, she couldn't ride. Every single ride we went up to, we had the same answer, and so that just kind of, like, it's really upsetting, and I feel like that kind of made it worse because we had no idea what their restrictions were for people with disabilities. Um, and after being with Disney, back then it was when you had the green card that you could go in the fast pass line for everything, so she actually got pretty much straight on every ride, which was awesome. That ride system isn't available anymore, and I will update that in another video once I've been to Disney World and can reassess it. But back to Universal. We were in... I think we were still in the Superman ride building and I like lost it. I just... I think I cried. Um, I was really really upset. It was just like not going how I thought it was gonna go. It was really disappointing and Alex was getting upset seeing me upset because she didn't want her disability to be the reason that we were having a bad day. So a manager figured out that we were upset, came over to talk to us and said like, hey, I'm really sorry you're having a not good experience. We want to help. We will either refund you all of your tickets for the day or there is one thing she can do in Universal Orlando Park, which is the Shrek 4D we can give you tickets, we can give you like a hopper pass because we only had the one pass. So Alex likes Shrek, so we decided to get the hopper pass. Before we left Islands of Adventure, we went back to Harry Potter and they were nice enough to let us go into Ollivander's and she got a wand. Um, and it was really cool because back then it was like a two like hours wait to get in there, to get in there with 30 people when one person was chosen and we got to go in just the five of us and she was chosen. So that was really cool, she got the one for free um, and it was really cool to see that experience, like to see her experience that and that kind of like helped a little bit. And then we went over to Universal Orlando, we did the Shrek thing which is basically like Honey I Shrunk the Kids, Shrunk the Audience at Disney, like just she could stay in her seat, but there were effects that were, like, blown onto you. Um, and then we were done. Um, we didn't stay very long. We had dinner at Bubba Gump's, which I love, on the city walk, and we went back. So, overall, it was a really tiring, upsetting day. I'm one of those people that, like, I want everything to be perfect, and so when it wasn't perfect, I was upset, um, but I worked at that time, I was working at a camp in the summers for kids with disabilities, and the thought of, like, families traveling all the way to Florida with no idea what, that their kids wouldn't be able to do anything was just, like, really upsetting. So if you know someone who has a disability or has someone in their family who has a disability that you think sounds like my sister that wouldn't be able to do anything, let them know. I really just want to create this video to raise awareness so that somebody who's going into it will know what to expect because if we were going through the gate and someone was like, hey, just so you know, you're not going to be able to ride anything, I think our expectations would have been a lot different. Um, I've looked on their website, I will look more, and if I find anything, I'll put it in the coordinating blog post that I will link down below, but so far I haven't found anything on their website that says what their limitations are for people with disabilities. So far it just says, yeah, we're accommodating for wheelchairs, which in my opinion is not really okay. Um, I, I'm not, like, I'm not doing this video because, like, I want anything from them, like, this was four years ago and I'm over it, but it's it's still disappointing and I just I just wish we knew because we probably wouldn't have gone and like would I go back to Universal with my family? No. Like not like no. Because just no. Um I'd much rather go to Disney where I know that 
she's good and she can do whatever she wants and go on every single ride um, except for Space Mountain but I don't think she want to go on that anyways um, but just like I like I don't want this I guess this is a bit of a bummer video but I just want to raise awareness and just kind of spread the word um, because this was back in 2012 like it that was already their policy back then so I don't see it would have gotten any better. Um, I understand that Universal rides are different than Disney rides but at the same time I think that there should be somewhere that says this is like if you can't do this or this just so you know you're not gonna be able to ride anything. So I don't really know what else to say but I just wanted to let you guys know because you can help spread the word and hopefully the same thing won't happen to someone else. So that's really why I'm doing this because I know a lot of kids and young adults that are like my sister and just the thought of someone else going through that just like doesn't sit right with me. So give this video a thumbs up, um, let someone know, take them in the comments. I just want to help other people. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope this wasn't a complete bummer for you, but I hope you learned something and I just hope that we can get this out there. So I did pretty much the same thing in my coordinating blog post, so share that as well. I will put it on Pinterest, we'll try and get it out there. But thank you so much for spending this time with me today and I will see you soon. Bye guys!